New Street. So this is the, the main shopping street in Birmingham, okay? Around here. And up this leads all the way from here up to the town hall there. Now what we're going to do, the objective of this is we're going to do a systematic survey. So in other words, building by building, we're going to gather data. Very simple data. <coughs> Just going to finish like a, a tally chart to see what sort of buildings we've got here so we can work out a land use survey to see the difference between chain stores and independently owned ones. Now a chain store is quite simply a shop that you would find pretty much in any town or place in the country. Within reason they would look like, like national brands, they would look pretty much the same. An independent store is like a one-off shop that you would only find here in Birmingham or perhaps just one or two branches but not, not everywhere okay so we're going to look and do this so the first thing is we look here we see we've got a set of uh, categories shop service here and we just simply look with the shops uh, and then we, we tick off what's going on so the first shop is JD Sports so we look down here it's not food it's not a news agents it's not stationery it's not a restaurant it's not a pub off license, it's not professional. So we look down it and we've got toys, sports, cycling, outdoor leisure. And it's, do we have J, JDs all over? Yes. So therefore, you just quite simply put a tick for the uh, for JD by that. Okay. And then what we're going to do is walk on this side of the street and we're going to gather data like that. That's all we have to do gather this data. Now this is quantitative data, the point being that at the end of it we will have numbers that we've tallied up and we can therefore use. It's not subjective, it's pretty much looking at every building and we can therefore graph quite easily when we get back. Okay, right, go on in, let's go. Right, 